if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 46 of the My Player series here on FIFA 16. We've got the penultimate game of the Barclays Premier League season today away from home against Chelsea, followed by the FA Cup final against Arsenal at Wembley Stadium. And obviously in the next episode we will play the final game of the season against Tottenham. Now if we get a win against Chelsea, the Premier League title is still on. They are six points ahead of us. Goal difference is quite close, especially if we get the win that we need. So that w if we win, that will put us within three points of Chelsea with a game to play. I don't know who Chelsea have on the last day. And in fact, I shall check right now who Chelsea have on the last day. Let's see. We have Spurs at home. Chelsea are at home against West Brom. So it's not the most difficult of games. But if we can get a win here, then the title is still on. And then obviously the second game of the episode is a rather big one with the FA Cup final at Wembley against Arsenal. So two huge games today. Hopefully you guys enjoy the episode. If you do, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Check the channel page, especially for episode number one of the Nottingham Forest Return to Glory series that started last night. You guys showed that fantastic support when episode number one went up and number two will be coming to you tonight. Of course, the schedule in the description and on the about tab of the channel page has been altered to show the new career mode RTG and the Valencia career mode, which will start tomorrow at 1pm. So make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that one as well. But without any further ado, let's jump into arguably the biggest game of the season so far, followed by the even bigger game of the season so far. Arsenal in the FA Cup. Three points are a must here against Chelsea if we want to be within a ch in with a chance of winning the Barclays Premier League title this year. Squeeze it up to Lukaku. He's going to lay it out wide, perhaps. There are two people there waiting for a pass. He's had to come inside. I'll call for it. And we'll just play it off to Darren Gibson. He might actually come back to me here. All this space for a shot from distance. We went for it straight against Gary Cahill. I cannot resist those shots from distance. You guys know me by now. If, a, if a, you know, five yards opens up outside the box for a shot from 30 yards or so, I just can't help myself. I have to give it a crack. Unfortunately, this time around, Gary Cahill got in a good block. But it's nice to see that we're being positive here away from home and creating chances immediately at the beginning of the game. And it seems Chelsea are going to be quite creative themselves and be on the front foot. Obviously, they're looking to ensure that they win the championship in uh, this particular game as well, rather than having to go to the final day. Ball going from end to end so far. Besic isn't the fastest. He's probably going to get out-muscled here by Cahill and is so. Chelsea defending very well, but both sides starting off on the front foot, looking to get themselves in front in the early stages. Besic into me. We'll give it to Seamus Coleman. And there's space for Delefeu to run into. If he wants to go out wide, he has done. Delefeu into me. will help that back around the corner to the Spaniard. Delefeu in the box. Delefeu with a shot and a smart save by Courtois to palm that away. But he's only been able to give it to Romelu Lukaku here, Branislav Ivanovic. Can we get a cross in? There's two or three of us in the box waiting. Here's Leighton Baines. Lays it back to me. We'll knock it back to Besic. He might have the space for a shot. He's decided against having a shot from distance. We've still got the ball, though. Still might be a second opportunity here. That's a great ball into the box. Baines goes up for the header. It's Jerome Boateng with him in a Chelsea shirt. And that's gone out for a Chelsea throw, unfortunately. The first clear-cut opportunity comes for Everton in this game after 20-odd minutes. But still, thanks to a good save from that man, Thibaut Courtois, we stay at 0-0. Hazard in down the left-hand side. That's a really nice turn. He's got space to run into as well. Tries to stand it up to Costa, who knocks it back into the middle. Oscar with the shot. A wonderful save from Tim Howard is the only difference between the two sides right now. That was a brilliant reaction save. He's just left that left arm up as he slid in. Just held that left arm up. He's hit it on the underside of the arm and gone out for a corner. That quite possibly could have been Chelsea 1-0 up. Tim Howard punched. He's supposed to punch that. Up against the physical Matic there in the middle. Probably could have caught it, but... Better safe than sorry, I suppose. Punching it clear. It's another corner to Chelsea. Half an hour played. This time, he is going to catch it and danger is averted. There we go. Thank you very much, Tim Howard. Let's stay at 0-0 then for the half-hour mark. But Delefeu might make me a run. 
We've played it into Besic. Lukaku's made a run and he's going to get played in. I'm sprinting into the box, although we're not going too fast for some reason. Here's Delefeu, played in by Lukaku. Space there for Coleman. He plays it into me. Uh, is Besic going to make me a run around the corner? We'll play him in. Besic gives it to Morales. Shot blocked. Gary Cahill again in the way. A corner at the other end of the pitch now. You can tell that both sides are really wanting to get themselves in front because the title is on the line for both teams right now. That is coming towards Jagielka with a header, but it's a tame shot in the end. A very simple save for Thibaut Courtois. 33 minutes played. It's nil-nil. Coleman into Delefeu. Oh, nice footwork from Delefeu. He's got the pace to get away as well. as Lukaku in the middle. Delefeu with a shot saved by Courtois. Goalkeepers are in form and being needed to be in form at both ends of the pitch so far. Courtois with good saves. Tim Howard with good saves. Could have another chance here, Everton. Lukaku, no, a free kick has been given against us. And a free kick to the home side will clear their lines. Wow, chances at both ends, man. This has been a fantastic game. And this isn't even the biggest game of the episode. The Barclays Premier League title is on the line. And it's not the biggest game of the episode because we've the FA Cup final to come after this. Absolute scenes. Free kick for us. They've just put on Pedro for Willian. That might drop to me on the edge box. It's dropped to Seamus Coleman who scored a fucking fantastic goal. Oh my day, Seamus Coleman has given us a 1-0 lead with the first chance of the second half. How much does that goal mean right now to this Everton side and to the Barclays title race? Barclays Premier League title race. What a finish from a right back on his left foot. Leighton Baines knocks it down to him and what a finish from... The Irishman, incredible scenes here at Stamford Bridge. This could be the biggest game of the episode still if we get the victory. You can see how pleased my guy is with him grabbing him by the face. Seamus Coleman, what have you just done? Has he given us the chance to win the Barclays Premier League title? Half an hour's game time will tell us whether that is correct or not. Oh my shit, we might be winning the Barclays Premier League this season. Gibson, to me, Lukaku's making a run, so we'll play him in. See if we can get on the end of it again. He's going on a nice run here. Romelu Lukaku's played me in. Our turn has beaten Gary Cahill. Oh, wonderful. Re oh, oh, Lukaku. I was say wonderful return. Uh, a wonderful recovery tackle from Gary Cahill. My guy was still on the floor there. Did a front flip. Complete front flip. And Lukaku, oh, just whiskers wide of the post. Are we okay to continue? It appears so. Okay, good. I thought there, with my guy just lying on the floor, that we were going to be in trouble there and pick up an injury. I hope we're not injured, you know, when it comes up after the game and says, oh, you picked up this knock during the game. I don't want to miss the FA Cup final through injury. Please, please, game, don't do that to me. We'll find out. Kevin Morales on the ball now towards the, uh, the back of uh, our defensive third. 75 minutes on the clock, 15 to go. 15 minutes to hold on to our 1-0 lead. 15 minutes to continue our challenge for the Barclays Premier League title. Here's Delefeu down the right-hand side up against Azpilicueta. He's got the pace on him and he's got the feet on him as well. Can he get the cross in? Do I have to come short? He's crossed it in. Courtois punch is clear and Chelsea get it away. Ivanovic with a free kick. They've brought on Remy for Oscar. We've taken off uh, Lukaku for Aruna Kone. Here's Boateng. Squeezes it through to Diego Costa. A goal now would pretty much guarantee Chelsea the Barclays Premier League title. There isn't much time left for us to go and get another goal to go back in front. Remy's underneath it. Jagielka clears with a header. Vital interception. I'm really nervous now because if Chelsea equalise, the title race is over and the Blues win the league. Up you go. Tim Howard comes and punches. Can a Kone challenge there? He can't. Pedro wins the ball back. He's gone for the shot. We've got the block in, but it drops only as far as Remy. Back to Hazard, to Remy, to Hazard, to Remy. Playing the ball about quickly. Here's Hazard in the box. Squares it in. Matic underneath it. It's not. It's Ivanovic and Cleverly clears. Massive, massive clearance from Tom Cleverly there, but we need to get the ball back and away from them again, but they're going to continue to throw bodies forward. Here's Athpilicueta down the left-hand side. Dave works the ball into the box. Again cleared by Jagielka and it's gone to safety now out for a throw-in. Barely any time left now for Chelsea to get an equaliser. The title race is still in the balance here. Flicked on by Ramirez towards Matic. Matic on the ball into Ivanovic. Tries to get it around the corner. Morales should clear. I'll call for it here in the middle. We'll fire it towards Aruna Kone. That should be enough. Oh no, his first touch is terrible. There's barely seconds left now in this game. If we get the 1-0 win, the title race is still available to us. 
Azpilicueta on the ball. They're not being quite as urgent now. Dave pushing to go out wide, trying to stretch us for one final attack. If we can get a block in, that'll be it. Game over. Aspi with the ball in. Jagielka wins that header. Is that the header that keeps us in the title race? Yes, it is. Chelsea nil, Everton one. The title goes down to the final day. Goal difference will be plus three in Chelsea's favour, I believe. With, uh, obviously, they were on 35, we were plus 30. So they'll be on plus 34 and we'll be on plus 31. So with their goal difference being plus three and them having to play West Brom at home on the final day, it doesn't look likely, but it is still a possibility for us to win the Barclays Premier League. And now we go into the FA Cup final at Wembley against Arsenal. Well, shit. To Danny Welbeck, first move of the FA Cup final after just two minutes. Welbeck got the run on Jagielka there. Is that going to be an Arsenal corner? It is. Arsenal on the attack immediately here at Wembley. Jagielka is captain for the day. So if, if we win the cup, it will be Jagielka that lifts it. If he's, if he's still on the pitch, that is. And Ramsey into the box, though. This is a nice run. Nice turn. Tim Howard does well to pluck that out the air. First chance of the FA Cup final goes Arsenal's way. But it was a comfortable save for our American goalkeeper and Morales. And Lukaku may even get a scene at the other end. I'm drifting a little bit further wide here on the right-hand side. Just to open some more space. Delefeu gets it under control. He might come to me here if I call for it. He has. Delefeu's gone for the return ball. We'll look for Seamus Coleman. Oh, Seamus Coleman nearly scoring again for the second game in a row on his left foot. Good shot. Well saved by Petr Cech. This one's just as entertaining a start as the Chelsea game. Can we get a goal here to go 1-0 up? Early on, though, Czech punches clear and flattens Romelu Lukaku and it's going to harmlessly go out for a throw-in. Mental scenes at the beginning of this game. It's just as end-to-end -end as uh, the Chelsea game was, only there's more on the line. There's a genuine trophy on the line here, whereas the uh, game against Chelsea gave us the chance to play for a trophy. This is playing for a trophy. Lukaku, surely no! Gabriel with a block. It's still continuing the pressure here at the beginning of the FA Cup final. Delefeu with another corner. We're on the penalty spot with Aaron Ramsey. That's going to be a comfortable save for Petr Cech, isn't it? Nil-nil after 10 minutes. But this one looks like it could have quite a few goals in it. Ozil down the line to Alexis Sanchez. Where's Alexis going? Well, into the box is where Alexis is going. And continuing to go. And the shot flashes past the post. Arsenal's second chance of the game comes and goes. But Alexis cannot find the target. Scored an absolute cracker in the FA Cup final in real life last season. Not able to replicate, replicate that here yet so far. Well, shit. To Theo. Theo with a cross. That's a great cross as well. Welbeck's up. Jagielka wins the header with him. Again, Jagielka and Welbeck meeting in the air. And again, Jagielka coming out on top. They're not going short this time from the corner. They're putting it in the box. I'm on defensive duty. I've missed the header. And Baines has had to slash the clearance past me. It's going to be another corner to Arsenal here. We're off front post duty, thanks to our inability to hit the ball there. It's coming our way again, but Tim Howard with a really good punch. Gibbs goes up and wins the header, though. Ramsey will bring it down. Arsenal on the attack again. Somehow that gets through to Ertzel, but there's a man down in the box. Laurent Koscielny is going to have to leave the field of play. Just got destroyed by Tim Howard there. I don't even know what part of his body's injured because he got, got clattered seemingly from head to toe. Per Mertesacker comes on for the Frenchman. Arsenal forced into their first change of the game. Debussy to Ozil. Good footwork from the German into Jack Wilshere. Might go back to Ertzel here. He hasn't. He's found Ramsey. Jack Wilshere trying to filter in between the gap between midfield and defence here. But we're able to get that initially clear. Wilshere tidies up though. Kieran Gibbs recovers again. Cross to Aaron Ramsey. Could get it through that gap to Wurzel. Drills it up wide to Theo Walcott. Danny Welbeck in the middle again with Jagielka with him. Walcott lays it back to Debussy. Cross might come from the Frenchman. Maybe he'll find Walcott again. Taking their time. Ramsey's on the edge of the box. Ramsey does get the better of uh, Kevin Morales in that duel. Debussy back to Walcott. To Debussy again. To Walcott again. Come on, boys. Will you just create a chance rather than keep one twoing down the right-hand side? Or... Maybe give us the ball back. Here's the boosty. There's the cross. Danny Werbeck underneath it. Glorious opportunity. Free header. The first time he's gotten clear of uh, Phil Jagielka at the back. But he's not able to find the target. Theo throws it to Mathieu de Boussy inside. Oh, Lukaku might win that. He hasn't. Ertzel uh, so gets it to Danny Werbeck. Through the gap to Ramsey. There's space on this far side for Alexis. He gets it. Plays it quickly towards Ertzel with a header. Oh, that was not far away at all. Brilliant header from Mr. Ertzel from the edge of the box. And that was destined towards the bottom corner until it just span away from the target. Not far wide whatsoever. Really unlucky for the German. Looks like we're going in at half-time with the scoreline goalless. 
Herzl into the path of Theo Walcott. Space to run into here for Theo. Goes for the early cross though. Olivier Giroud underneath it. Brilliant save. Pops free. Giroud again. John Stones gets so lucky with the clearance coming back off Giroud and out for a goal kick. They changed the uh, the way they lined up. They took Danny Welbeck off at halftime and brought Olivier Giroud on because they've been playing a lot of long balls or uh, cross putting crosses in. Obviously, uh, Danny Welbeck hadn't been having the best of times up against Phil Jagielka. Olivier Giroud, though, finding himself in space, having the most clear-cut chance of the half. But luckily for us, he played it straight at Tim Howard. And then we got fortunate with the rebound as well. As Besic goes off for Tom, for Tom Cleverley for us. 30 minutes to play. Still nil-nil. We may go to extra time. Darren Gibson across to me. We'll help it into the path of Tom Cleverley. Here's Romelu Lukaku, back to Cleverley. Delefeu pushing down the right-hand side. Going to be found by Tom Cleverley as well. Cross might come in for Delefeu here. What's he going to do? He had a shot last time he went on a run like this in the last episode. He's had a shot again. Nice turn inside, though. Unfortunately, couldn't find the target. That's our best chance of this second half. We've not had much of the ball. We've not had many opportunities. When we get chances like that, we have to make them pay or at least work the goalkeeper and get ourselves a corner. And Delefeu this time around... Wasn't able to do that. 15 minutes to go. Nil-nil the score in this rather tetchy FA Cup final. Cleverly. Forward to John Stones. Forward to Romelu Lukaku. Good save by Petacek. He's offside though. Romelu Lukaku. That went so quickly from back to front. Straight through from uh, John Stones all the way up to Romelu Lukaku sharply. But just the wrong side of the line. He made a great run but... Oh, that's so tight. I mean, Czech made the save anyway, but it's so tight. Aruna Kone is coming on for Lukaku, and as far as I was aware, yeah, we did get put up top there. So we're now playing a 4-4-2 for the last 12 minutes. John Stones is staying up as well, so we're clearly on the attack, on ultra-attacking, trying to get ourselves a win here in the uh, FA Cup final with 10 minutes to go, Morales. I called for that. I'm not going to get it from him, but cleverly will get it to Stones. Here's Gibson. Into Morales. John Stones is through. Oh, he dinked it to me. I thought it was going to go to Delefeu. Oh, I wasn't ready for that through ball. Wow, if John Stones is going to start uh, trying to be as creative as that, though, in the final third, we may stand a chance of winning this. Arsenal have kept the ball very well so far in this game. I'll quickly show you the match stats to this point. We've not had many chances. They've had 60% of possession. They're playing the Arsenal way, and it's working so far, although they haven't yet been able to get the ball past Tim Howard into the back of the net. And Gibbs and Czech seemingly in a world of their own here. Are they going to pass to someone else? No, still playing about with it at the back. Eight minutes to go in the game. I have no idea what's going on here. Czech, you're going to have to pass it to someone else sooner rather than later. And he has done. It's Delefeu. Here's John Stones. Kone might get the ball free. Kone off the bar. I'm going to try and get this back into middle with a header. We have done, but Kone can't get past the defender. I don't know what was going on with the CPU there. They were making some ridiculous... Uh, that was just a crazy... The passage of play. They just passed it between Gibbs and Czech like 10 times. Never mind. We'll get the ball back. That was really weird. Didn't know what to make of that. Here's Cleverly. Space for Kone. He's gone for the long ball. It's Delefeu in the box. Delefeu to win it. Delefeu takes it around the keeper. He's got it into the back of the net. Gerard Delefeu could well have won the FA Cup for Everton here with three minutes to go. Absolute scenes. Lovely ball by Cleverly. He brings it down perfectly. Takes it around the keeper and slides it home. Gerard Delefeu with one of the best goals of the season. Check, nothing he could do. Brilliant feat from the youngster. That's Everton 1, Arsenal 0 with three minutes to go. We may well have just won the FA Cup and given ourselves a chance of winning the uh, Barclays Premier League all in the space of two games at the very end of the season. Four goals in the FA Cup for Delefeu this season. 88th minute is when the goal has come. This is probably going to be a really long episode, the amount of highlights from both the Chelsea game and this Arsenal one, but I don't care whether it's 40 minutes long. It does not matter. We are seconds from an FA Cup final victory. Here come Arsenal. Walcott with a shot. Keeper seemingly happy with his angles there. Made me really nervous because that looked as if it may have floated into that top corner. Tim Howard happy to let it go, though. It does go wide. How many minutes are added on? Just the two. We are still playing a 4-4-2, but I think we've gone defensive now. And we're almost certain we've gone defensive for Delefeu. on the attack again. I'll call for a through ball. I could be in. Take it in your stride, Ches. Take it in your stride. The chance to score at Wembley in the FA Cup final. We've sealed it. We've scored again. It's Everton 2. Arsenal 0. Everton are going to win the FA Cup. Where's the camera? I want to run to the camera. Where are you, cameraman? No, I couldn't get there in time. Kone's just completely pissed off. He's run off the pitch towards the corner flag. And now he's... He's back again to celebrate with us. We've won the FA Cup, boys. We have won the FA Cup. A gorgeous ball played through. Just get it under control onto my right foot and then still went for that left-hand corner. Sent Petr Cech to ground. 
Everton 2, Arsenal 0. I'm so excited. We've won the FA Cup with two goals in the last two minutes. A dramatic finale here at Wembley. It was practically the last kick of the game to seal it. A 2-0 victory. We will see the players lift the trophy in the background. So, the scenario then, heading into the final game of the season with one to play against Tottenham. If we win and Chelsea lose, we'll be champions. If we draw... We're not. We need a win from the final game against Tottenham. Nothing else will do. We need a win. We need Chelsea to lose at home against West Brom. But right now, I can't really think too much about that. We just need to enjoy the moment right now because we've just won the FA Cup. Our first piece of silverware as a full first team Barclays Premier League player. We got the playoff trophy as a Coventry player in League One on loan from Middlesbrough in our first season. But this is the biggest trophy of our career so far. The biggest of our two seasons so far. Just two seasons we've been playing this My Player so far. And two pieces of silverware, I guess, if you count the playoff trophy. The biggest, though, the FA Cup was Jackie Elka lifts it. We're there in the background, number 29. We'll definitely be staying here at Everton next year to play Champions League football. We'll be changing our squad number as well. We've earned the number eight shirt here at Everton after this first season at this level in fo the footballing world. We'll be playing Champions League football. We'll be defending our FA Cup trophy. Will we be defending a Barclays Premier League title as well? We will find out celebrating with a trophy in front of the Everton fans. I love this new uh, cutscene animation here, although same as Coleman seem to be glitching about there. Aruna Kone somehow manages to get himself back on the pitch after just running into the stand when we scored. You see me jumping around in the background. We're absolutely thrilled. Boys, drop this video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days, whether it's this series, the career mode RTG that started last night, or the... Uh, the remainder or the final episode of the Chelsea or Wolfsburg series which happened last week but that is all for now thank you very much for watching guys Everton Football Club winners of the FA Cup for this second season in my player we scored in an FA Cup final and now we have to go and win the Barclays Premier League in the next episode